Hi, my name is Sean Cabinet. I'm a PhD student joined between the groups of David Scanlon at UCL and Aaron Walsh at Imperial. And my research is focused on emerging solid state energy materials, primarily photovoltaics and batteries. I'm delighted to have the platform to briefly speak today about my recent work on enhancing the anode performance of tin monoxide nanoparticles through control of the synthesis conditions. In this work, we demonstrate a strong dependence of the nanoparticle morphology on the choice of solvent for crystal growth, ranging from flower-like uh, morphologies in ethanol to uniform square platelets in water um, and very thin squares in aqueous methanol. Our experimental observations indicated that solvent boiling point, polarity and viscosity were key factors in determining the resulting morphology. To understand the underlying chemistry governing the platelet morphology, we calculated the thermodynamically favored crystal shape according to the gibbs wolf theorem. The result shows good agreement with our solution grown uh, platelets with the only slight differences being the absence of the higher energy 100 and Zilibank's favorite 212 crystal surfaces. We propose that this is due to a stabilization of the 001 and 101 uh, phases in the highly polar water solvent, exposing greater adsorbate binding site densities, and also that the platelets may not have reached the thermodynamic limit of large particles. Indeed, when we remove the high energy surfaces from the calculated wolf shape, the result is a perfect match with the experimental images. Testing these materials as anodes in lithium ion batteries, we found that they exhibit an enormous uh, charge capacity close to 900 milliamp hours mm -hmm. per gram compared to under 400 for the commonly and commercially used graphite anode. Even upon cycling the nanostructured tin monoxide anodes are harsh conditions of 1C, uh, all anodes maintain a capacity greater than 400 milliamp hours per gram for the first 50 cycles. To end, I'd like to thank everyone who contributed to this work and ask that you check it out on archive here. Uh, and if you are interested, please check out my work on perovskite inspired materials on the EL08 symposium. Thank you very much for your time and attention.